Hi, I'm John from Doist. Since the beginning of the year, we've been working away at adding a calendar view to many parts of Todoist. In January, we added a calendar layout to projects, in February, in filters and labels, and today I'm here to show you the latest edition a way to view your upcoming tasks in a monthly calendar layout. So let's take a look. So here we are in the upcoming view in the Todoist desktop app. For many people, Upcoming is the place for planning ahead and ensuring that you stay on track with commitments because it shows all the tasks that you have coming up from across work or personal tasks and other collaborative projects that you might have in Todoist. To use the new calendar layout, I'll go to the View menu at the top right and just click Calendar. There we are. If you've already used the monthly calendar view in projects or your filters and labels, this is going to look very familiar already, and it works in pretty much the same way. So obviously being able to see the full month gives you a great bird's eye view of, of what you have coming up, and it makes it a lot easier to get a sense of what days you have too much on or not enough and need to move things around. Um, and working with tasks in this calendar makes it really easy to reschedule those things, and it's, it's as easy as drag and drop, really. Another handy feature of this new upcoming view is the overdue panel. This is kind of a simple example because I only have one overdue task, but you'll get the picture. When I open the overdue panel, you'll see that I have one task that's past due and, and needs to be taken care of, so to schedule it again, I'll just drag and drop it back onto my calendar, and then it's rescheduled and it hopefully won't slip through the cracks again. Of course, it can be a bit intimidating to see all of your tasks in one place, so that's where the view filter options come in really handy. These are the quick filters that you'll find under the view menu, which let you filter by assignee or priority if you've assigned a priority to your tasks, or labels that you use, or even workspaces if you're collaborating with a team. So for example, it's a great way to hide your work tasks uh, when you're at home, or vice versa, and just makes things a little bit more focused to what you need in the moment. We also made some improvements to the upcoming view in our mobile apps. So here I've got the iOS app open and I'll tap on browse and then upcoming to bring up the new view. At the top of the screen, tapping on the month name will expand the date picker and let me jump to dates in the future much faster. The little gray indicators on the calendar show me which days I have something scheduled already and obviously which days I have nothing planned. Once again, we've got an overdue section to show me tasks that have passed their due date. And of course, to see quickly what I have coming up in the next few days, I can just scroll down the list in the lower part of the screen. So that's it. That's the new monthly calendar layout for upcoming. I have to say, adding this was a big step in getting a calendar layout in all of your task views in Todoist. And we can't wait to hear what you think. So what's next? Well, we've had great feedback on the monthly views we've added so far, but we also know a lot of people, me included, are really looking forward to seeing their tasks in a weekly layout so that they can plan their week ahead and use it as kind of a home base for getting things done during the week. And that's what the team is working on right now, so we can't wait to share that with you soon. All right, thanks for now.